Hello, so before we start color correcting this uh, ship to the blue ship, uh, I just want to make sure everything looks good. And if you have any OCD, like the line work, um, actually I do have some. Probably I want to clean it up a bit more. So I'm going to go to my path of the ship, the white color area. I'm just going to use my smash brush to push things out a bit so I get rid of the outline. some OCD stuff and obviously your painting will get better and better if there's no need for any outline okay so you can do treatments like this to make one part of your painting better without line work uh, but I'm not going to dwell with that on this video so I'm just going to do that very quickly um, add back my line work and then maybe another thing I think I want to improve just a bit more is to dodge some of these highlights here make these parts a bit slightly brighter so I can use my dodge brush go in here and uh, do it ever so slightly highlight keep to a value of 5 just a little bit I want to overdo it a little bit more highlight before we go on because uh, later when we color correct, all your values here will be applied later when we color correct. Because obviously, uh, I'm duplicating this this ship downward for the other ships to color correct. So whatever details we have here, it's very important there oh, because. Just gonna do that once. Alright, so our ship is quite good now, looking more and more 3D. Um, some of these spots actually looking a little bit nice. Pretty cool. Okay, so this whole, uh, I could say this whole ship together with the line work. Okay, so the whole line work, I'm gonna ignore that. This one will be called the original ship. I'll be done with that. I'll duplicate it, drag this all the way down to this new layer. So I have a duplicate copy. Right click, merge layers, merge group, and you'll be merged. You know. So I grab the whole merge group, put it down here, and then now I'm gonna correct color correct this to this. Okay, so I actually made some notes before. So let's take a look at my notes. So there's a folder called uh, Steps for Color Correcting Ship. Let's have a look. Okay, so first is uh, bring out the color balance, which is Control V. On the mid tones, we set minus 85, minus 15, plus 60. Okay, so let's try that out. Uh, actually, let's duplicate this. I'll make a duplicate copy. This whole group, I'll call it Cool Ship. So I have one, a duplicate copy. Yeah? Uh, I have one here, and then another one on top. And I'll just press Control V. B for boy, control B, minus 85, minus, then minus 15, minus 15, then plus 60. So it's just a set of values to correct. Okay, so that's for mid tones. And go to shadows. Oh, usually it applies for shadows, shadows plus 25. Oops, I press enter. And then highlight actually, I should do a minus 10 also. So let me do that again. Highlight minus 10. So if I apply that, I just apply again. It's okay. Saturation, I minus 15. I don't need to uh, follow exactly that because mostly I'm still using my eye. But I'm just showing you, it gives a relatively good result even if I just follow it like this. Then now I'm just uh, doing desaturation. Actually, I need to desaturate a bit more here. And actually, there's more cyan values from the left side. So probably I want to have a bit of cyan color coming from the left. So a bit, a bit of greenish tones. Also, there's blue and there's a lot of, a bit of green coming on. Let me do a clipping mask below. 
So I just set this to um, linear dodge, which makes it bright. And then there's always also this bluish tone attacking from the left. No, not bluish, greenish, greenish tone attacking from the left. Okay, here I want this green to be a bit more, uh, a bit more apparent. Probably I want to make this green a bit more obvious. Okay, that's what I feel is right la, at this point of time. You can also follow this uh, tutorial. So I next tutorial is to just add, uh, just add these uh, levels, which is levels is like brightness contrast. Oh, but levels is better than brightness contrast because it gives you even more control. You have this histogram here. You can go to different channel to add this brightness contrast. Oh, so we can just this is contrast, brightness, and then contrast or oh, desaturate the the contrast is this direction. So if I pull this arrow to this direction, it becomes the contrast. If I pull this to this direction, it becomes contrast. Okay. It's just brightness contrast. I think of it easy. Uh, I like to use this because it gives the most use to it. Once you get used to it, it's very powerful. Uh, more so than brightness contrast. But if you don't know, just use brightness contrast, which is fine also. But one day you realize, oh, why is my brightness contrast so limited? And then you can go to uh, levels. And that's where you get the best of it. Okay. So I'm going to desaturate this actually even more. So I want to hit this uh, areas here, which is a bit more desaturated. So I'll just use, I can use a sponge as well. So a sponge makes this uh, saturation lesser. So I'll just uh, choose des desaturate on the corner. So I'll just desaturate this right side here. Okay, I hope. This is not too complicated, uh, but I'm just showing my tools very quickly. But even if you just pick up one or two, it's probably enough. Obviously, uh, I want to desaturate because once I desaturate, you see that's a mix. Oh, so this is monochromatic, but not exactly. There's blue here. There's a, sorry, let me use a blue arrow. There's blue here. There's a bit of cyan. Cyan is a bit more greenish. And if you look at this corner here, it's more desaturated. Desat. So there's actually three three tones to this uh this face here, this shape here. Oh, so even though I just color correct it like this, I do know that and I'm trying to get that result as well. Okay, so this is a sign light. Okay. So next we do the warm light. Lah. I want to keep it short also. So I don't want to see you on the next video. Bye.